One, One two, two, three, action. So mid June works? I'll be there. Hey Liv, could we take your car? Mine's big enough, it's just kind of close to dead. Yeah, for sure. Lola, what time's your flight tomorrow morning? I think it leaves at five. How are you feeling? Great, except for the fact that my hands haven't stopped shaking for the past 48 hours. <laughs> That's understandable. I should actually head out. I got some last minute packing to do. You still have packing to do and your flight leaves in six hours? That's why I gotta go. I don't miss her so much. This yeah. is so weird. Ugh, oh, I'm really gonna miss you guys. Stop or I will start crying. I'll see you soon though. I'm going to college! Yeah, you are! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I can't really picture her in New York. She'll be fine. When do you guys leave for school? Not for like a month and a half. You got the start of the summer, brother. <laughs> Same here. Early August for me. Really? I'm leaving on the 26th. Well... The end of an era. Pretty sad. Cal, grab your camera. Let's get one last picture together. Wait, Lola just left them. Shit, I wish I'd thought of it sooner. Let's take one anyway. We'll regret it if we don't. Definitely. God, Cal, you're so slow. <laughs> one sec, I'm rushing. Chris, your knee is stabbing <laughs> into my butt. Sorry about it. <laughs>
I was just on the road for the past couple months, hiking around Alaska. No shit, how'd your leg hold up? My freaking lip will not go away, but it doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, at least I don't have wheelchair anymore. <laughs> oh, God, that was awful. I think I actually have a picture of it. You brought some? Yeah. I found a bunch of them when I was going through my stuff, and I thought you guys might want to see them. Do I want to see those, though? Messing me is not really something I want to look at. Those were taken like eight months ago. A lot can change in eight months. Oh, found it. Oh, let me see. Oh, Lewis. <laughs> Weak in those. <laughs> totally not like I broke my femur or anything. Damn. So, Lewis, anything new other than working in your trip? Well, yeah, since I'm back at the Creamy, I'll be there for the summer. When you worked at last summer, you went downtown? Yeah. It's nice. Good to see you keep busy. Yeah. Also, sorry to bring this up again, but I really have to pee. Oh my god, sorry, I completely forgot. There's a place we can stop right up here. Oh, thank god, my glutes are going cray right now. I need gas anyway. There is no way that's an actual yoga pose. It is. It's called the goddess pose. Wait right there. Wasn't planning on moving. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. <laughs> That's the end of our shift. Who's driving next? Oh, Cal, you trying to sneak a picture of me. You got another Yerba? I can't afford to fall asleep again and miss out on all this bonding. Uh, yeah, anyways, who's driving next? Calvin Will. Can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, why? You need to chill with the Olivia comments. I'm just planting a seed. You're being way too obvious. Why don't you tell her how you feel? Are you kidding me? I can't just do that. Once I put that out there, there's no taking it back. The rest of the trip will be ruined. What do you guys think they're talking about? Probably like sex or shit. <laughs> Probably talking about you, Liv. Oh god, do you really think so? I mean, that's the only thing they talk about without us. Well, without me. Shit. Shit. That conversation with Calvin is gonna suck. Calvin will never say anything. Mm, seems like he's a bit more gumption than he used to. Oh god, I wish he hadn't said anything. Oh my god, he is gonna ruin everything. I can't just like make myself fall in love with him. What what? Enjoy. Those odds are pretty darn low, Lewis. I should probably just forget about it. Cal, you've liked her since freshman year, dude. I don't think you'll be able to lose those feelings all of a sudden. If you could, I think you already would have. Shit, dude. Maybe you're right. Okay, if the opportunity presents itself, I'll say something. And you never know. Maybe she's into lanky amateur photographers. Let's go! And don't say anything. Is that the moment where just as teeny to be Ninja Turtles? That's the one. Oh god, I think we were like six in that. That sounds about right. Oh, this looks like a new one. Oh, some of my newer college photos must have gotten mixed in there. Wow, you are going to a lot of parties. What are your friends like? Are they fun? Oh, you don't want to hear about those guys. No, tell us who's been keeping you company all year. And about all the babes you're meeting. <laughs> or you can just tell us about your friends because we don't need to fly. All right, well, the guy on the left, that's JD. The guy's a lot of fun, but he sure knows how to make a mess. And the girl next to him, that's Jade. They've been dating like seven months now. And the girl next to you. Oh. That's Sophia. I don't really know her too well. We've only talked like once or twice before that. Oh, it's Sophia. That's wacky. Do you want me to pick it up for you? No, no, that's. Hi, Sophia. Yeah, yeah, this is Olivia. I'm one of Calvin's friends. I'm sure you've heard all about us. No? <laughs> Classic. You're so funny. Yeah, yeah, do you want to talk to Calvin? Yeah, for sure, I got you. Hi, Soph. 
Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just with some old uh, high school friends. Yeah, no, I'll text you later. Bye bye. Is that really all we are to you? What? Your high school friends? Well, I mean, technically. What else is he supposed to say, Liv? I mean, we are his high school friends. What? Like, we're not still friends? You know that's not me. No, guys, Olivia's totally right. I phrased that wrong. Sorry, sorry, I don't know what's going on with me. We are high school friends, but we're still friends. I get it. Hey, um, how's James? Doesn't he go to your school? Tall James? From Biosoft, are you? James Sherman. Yeah, I think he's studying psychology. Who would have thought? I'm glad I don't see anyone from high school around here. <laughs> ah, New York, the city that never sleeps but always dreams. It must be pretty nice not knowing anyone. You can totally reinvent yourself and nobody would ever know. I mean, it's not so bad to see a familiar face every now and then. James and I don't really talk though. Everyone just kind of sticks to their own groups. Big man's making tons of friends. Well, I wouldn't say tons, but I've met some pretty cool people. Good for you, pal. Seriously. Seriously. Chris, how's your friend situation? Funny you ask. I haven't made any, but I have a really good feeling that fall's gonna be my time. You haven't made a single friend? But you're freaking hilarious. I know, but you try making friends with the name Chrysanthemum. You think it'd be a good conversation starter, but the fact that nobody can spell it is an issue. I've gotten to focus a lot on school stuff though. Like I'm taking this class called Persons in Their Lives, where you talk about what it means to live a meaningful life in the grand scheme of things, besides just like feeling fulfilled and stuff. Jesus. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. I'm flunking out. No way. Aw, oh, did you get a B on a test? <laughs> no, like I'm actually failing three of my classes. How is that even possible? Well, you know, I've made some friends. Yeah? And those friends like to go out at night time. Right? Hence, I dabbled in a little bit of party going myself. Yeah. And, well, as a result, my grades have taken a bit of a nose dive. Shit, dude, what'd your parents say? Oh, they have no idea. Oh, God. Ow. Hey, Liv. Did you know you had another? Oh my god, where did you find that? I've been looking for that for months. It was just hanging out of your bed. Uh, at least you can listen to music now. Driver gets oxygen rights. I'm next then. Uh, <laughs> well, no offense, but your music taste is... It's different. songs of all time. This is why we never let you walk. Are you like depressed or something? That's literally the only context I can see myself appreciating that. Not anymore. I gave it to the Goodwill before I left for school. I wish you gave it to me. Let me see. 
Oh, Lo, you look so different in these. Like, your hair is darker now. Are you wearing skinny jeans? Are you wearing makeup in this? Thank you, Chris, for listing every different aspect of my appearance. You look so old now. Um, I mean, older than you did. <laughs> I don't even recognize myself in that. I think you look really happy. Was I really happy or was I just really... Cal, when did you take this picture? Oh gosh, I think that must have been Joe's homecoming party last year. Is that my glue face? Your what? No, that was when Lewis kicked a hole in the wall. Oh, <laughs> that was the low point. I had the worst poker game of my entire career that night. I lost like 50 bucks. I think I have a video of you actually kicking a hole in my Snapchat memories last night. Guys, that was my 18th birthday party. He like it was Joe's. Why are we doing your birthday? I had everyone over. That was last year. Yeah, we played a kitchen rat screw in my basement. Do you really not remember? Oh, right, that's when we made the irony trailer in your backyard. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Joe's had really sick colored lights flashing all night. That's not in that picture. Are you sure I was there? I literally don't remember that. Cal, you literally took the picture. Oh my god, I found it, I found it. Okay, I see. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look, there's a bubble tea place off this exit. Let's go. Oh, hot take. I hate bubble tea. It's literally my favorite. We're going. I don't think I've ever had it. Down the drive? Yeah, I don't know. I'm with Lewis on this one. Those balls are kind of nasty. Stop. You're probably just getting the wrong thing. Well, right? what do you get? There's this really cute bubble tea place in the East Village, and they have this super yummy matcha. It's kind of an acquired taste, though. No, this New York over here. Stop! You I like it. Get what I get. It's kind of weird, so I think it'll be right up your alley. I mean, I have to have a try. Do we have to stop? I mean, we're already behind even if we got gas. Liv, you're the one who said you wanted this trip to be an adventure. Chris has never tried bubble tea, and I plan to be willing to take over here. After this, it's all over the road, and there won't be anywhere to stop anyway. Yeah, okay, fine. How do I break this to you? This isn't good. Why would you say that before I've even had my first sip? No, I'm not even gonna like it. Or I just lowered your expectations so you'll like it more. Great perspective, Liz. All right. You know, I can see how one would like this, but um, you hate it. I wouldn't say hate, I would just never spend my money on this ever again. Sorry guys, I guess we won't be stopping for bubble tea anytime soon then. Who wants to finish my shift? You still have like 45 minutes left of your hour. I don't care. Well, whoever drives next is gonna have to drive an hour and a half instead of an hour. Fine, I'll finish. Can I play something? Sure. Is this Weezer? The amount that it isn't. Love did to lose your virginity to a Weezer song. What song? I don't want to talk about it. What did you look like? He was really sweet. Very respectful. I feel like you have VO and a drinking problem. What? I don't know, I just can't imagine anyone listening to Weezer having any sex with you whatsoever. Hey, I love Weezer. Plot twist, Lola actually lost her virginity to Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, I know it happened in New York because she called me at like 4 a.m. here after it happened. And second of all, we all know why that would just simply never happen. I can't confirm that. Hey, what happened to the music? We don't have service. Lola, when was the last time you heard the directions? I don't know. Well, then how do you know we're going the right way? I don't. Oh my god, this is why you go to college for art. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, I'm just frustrated. Well, do you want me to turn around and drive back until I get service? This is kind of the only thing I can do. Yeah, I guess so. You're right, it is our only option. It'll be a good story to tell later. It'll add flavor to the trip. Look, 
I have service. That literally took two seconds. Sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I just really want this trip to go well. Apparently, we have different definitions of this going well. I guess so. Do you guys want to hear a joke? My parents told me this one when I was really little, and I think you're going to like it. I feel like you're going to tell us regardless. Oh, you know me too well. OK, here it is. So there was this man named Charles, and he really loved balloons. Like, his house was full of them. He would walk in, and there would be balloons everywhere, from the ceiling to the floor. You couldn't even take a step without popping a balloon. He had a ton of friends before he got super into his balloon phase. Like this lady named Phoebe, who loved cats, and this other guy named John, who was super into little toy cars. What is wrong with these people? They have passions, okay? Anyway, John really loved these little toy cars. Think like Hot Wheels or something. But when Charles got super into his balloon phase, John and Phoebe couldn't come over anymore because Phoebe's cats would claw at balloons, which would pop them and scare the cats, and there wasn't any floor space for John to race his cars. Wait, so this guy likes cars? And balloons? No, no, no. John likes the cars. Charles likes the balloons. I am so lost right now. Guys, that's not the point of the story. What is the point of the story? I'm getting there. Anyway, Charles got sick of being inside all the time with his balloons and wanted to go see some nature. So he went outside on a walk and brought a balloon with him, just holding on to it with his string. Then he saw this little toy car on the ground and thought of his friend John. And he bent down to pick it up, he let go of the balloon. And because Charles loved his balloon so much, he wanted to get it back. He started running and running after this balloon and started to cry a little bit. Then a few people noticed Charles running. Like this guy named Mike and this other guy named Michael and this lady named Trish and this other lady named Tabitha and a couple more. He started running for miles and miles trying to catch this balloon, but every time they would get near it, it would fly just out of reach. Wait, what about John and Phoebe? No, his two friends from the beginning. Let's just keep moving forward. Anyway, they ran all night and all day trying to catch this balloon, but every time they get close, the wind would push it just out of reach. And... <laughs> and what? That's it. Is that the joke? That you just didn't finish the sentence? It's a thinker. Chris, that made absolutely no sense. If I have to explain it, then it's a bad joke. In the life it does. I think it's funny. Alright guys, three hours left. Get me out of this car. Are you not having fun? I am. I just, I'm claustrophobic, but I'll be over it. Well, let's play a game or something to get your mind off of that. I'm really okay. Anyone? I'd play a game. I don't know. I kind of just like staring out the window thinking about stuff. What do you think of that? Ooh, I have a game! Let's all just stare out the window for a couple of minutes in silence and really just soak up each other's energy. Okay. Do you this? barely even tried! Lip? I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'll try harder. Do you guys ever like not want road trips to end? Like, I kind of just want to be sitting here with you guys. My butt's cramping. I just do, but that's part of it. I'm having fun. Can we all talk again? This is weird. I'll talk. I can't get any deep thoughts while I'm driving. Yeah, Lewis, anything new other than working on your trip? No, that's about it. Do you have your own place now? No, it seems kind of pointless considering I'm still living in town. Are you ever planning on going to college? I was thinking about it, but I'm still figuring things out. What? Well, my grades from high school are shitty because I thought I was going D1 and didn't even try. I don't think I can even get any. You totally can. Just whip out a 500 word essay about your broken leg and you are set. I'm not even sure what I want to do. That's fine. You're 19. You're 19! Don't be so condescending. Sorry. Sorry, I just don't like talking about this stuff. Well, all I can say is that if anything, college is going to help me grow as a person. You 
know, sorry, I just seem, I kind of like myself now more than I've been, now that I've been to college with that. That's a pretty good argument, though. Well, college is also kind of shitty, Lewis. It's just new and unexpected, and you can't have too high of expectations, or else you'll just end up really disappointed. Wow, thanks for that, Liv. No, no, sorry. I don't know, it's just... In high school, I was just doing parties where I could walk in and anyone would be happy to talk to me or I could be sitting alone and someone would come up and give me a hug. But at college parties, I just lock myself up in the bathroom until someone bangs on the door to throw up and then I walk home by myself. So. I mean, nobody knows anybody at college. That's what makes it fun. Except for James Sherman. I've literally talked to him like twice all year. I don't know. I kind of like how new it all is. You get to meet so many new people that you kind of realize what you're going to say in high school. Stop saying high school like it was so long ago. What else am I supposed to say? I don't know, it just sounds weird. I don't think it does. You know, a ton of successful people never even went to college, Lewis. But you guys all go. So? Never mind. Everything's just all screwed up now. I mean, I thought I was set for life. That I had found something that I cared about that I was actually good at. Everyone wants that and I had it. Until that kid from Eastside stepped on my leg. He was on me for like two seconds and now I'll never be able to play again. What am I even supposed to do? You don't have to do anything. So what, I'll be the kid who peaked in high school? I mean, you don't have to do anything right now. Can I look through some pictures, Cal? Sure. I love these. You have a bunch of live. They're great, except for the fact that I'm literally into. Shut up, you're more than into. No, Cal, I'm actually not. Oh, I guess I never noticed that. That doesn't make it better. You don't need to read so deeply into everything, Lola. How am I reading into it? It's like I was never even there to begin with. Like, can you see the pictures again? Yeah. Did you guys wait until I left off right night so you could take this picture without me? No, we just forgot and thought we were right not taking it. Plus, it's just don't really mean anything, love. You think I'm only upset about the pictures? What? <laughs> I don't like who I am with you guys. You never let me get a word in, you never seem happy to see me, and you never even let me off because you said my music is weird. Lola, I never even noticed you felt that way. That doesn't make it better. None of you guys have even asked me a single thing about how I'm doing this entire trip. Well, how are you? Thank you so much, Lewis. I'm actually doing really well. My new friends actually asked me to hang out first. The lady at the bubble tea place in East Village knows my name, and I get hugs at parties. Doesn't that feel shitty, Liv? Is that why you pushed so hard for this trip? Because you have no other friends? Why are you yelling at me? This trip was supposed to be fun. It's not my fault you came here with a negative attitude. <laughs> negative attitude, are you kidding me? It wouldn't have hurt you to at least try and have a good time. Is being gloomy part of your edgy persona now? Look at this picture, Lola. This isn't you. <laughs> because you know me so well. I used to. No, you didn't. I hate the fact that you think you ever did. What? Nothing. No, keep going. Clearly you have a lot to get off your chest, so say it. I forgot what I was going to say. What? Never mind. What? I've been practicing this all in my mind for months now, but I don't feel the need to say any of it anymore. It's not worth it. What? It's not worth it. I don't want to argue with you just to not see you again for another year or if that. If that, so you just like don't plan on seeing me? That's not what I said. Then what? I'd love to know what's making you so pissed at me. Not just you, Liv. I didn't want to do this right now.
trapped in a car with you guys? It's like, I already feel ostracized enough. Ostracized, Lolo, we love you. It's a sound of two ostriches. No, I love you. But have you guys ever stopped to think about whether or not we actually like each other? Oh, wow. Everyone loses themselves in college. You'll be back to normal in no time. No, you lost yourself, Liv. I actually like myself. I know myself. Why didn't you ever say anything? Well, uh, I am so sorry. It feels awful. Does this whole thing not feel weird to you guys? I'm having fun. I mean, kind of. Our group chat hadn't been used in months until they reminded us about the gym. Did you guys think that was weird? I wouldn't say weird, just um, unexpected. Why do you think so much of this group live? You're grasping at straws. I mean, Lewis only started hanging out with us because his sober friends made him depressed. Calvin is like clearly in love with us. It's like Chris is only here for Okay, I didn't think I was that funny, and why are you bringing us into it? I have always known this group was going to dissolve. I just didn't know it would be this messy. What? Liv, my parents never talk about their high school friends. It's always college friends who are bridesmaids and godparents. Oh, well, that's depressing. I don't think it is. Did Charles ever catch his balloon? Think about it. What happened to John and Phoebe? Who? Was that a tire? That it was. Oh god, I don't know if I have a spare. Yeah, it's busted. Of course this would happen. Hey, Liv, come check this out. Um, what exactly am I supposed to be looking at? Oh, nothing. I just thought you might want to chat for a sec. So there's this thing I learned in one of my classes last semester. I'm listening, and I think I know what's bothering you. I don't. You're worried about the stripping apart. That's part it's okay, of it, but a lot of people worry about that sort of thing. I'm not worried about us not being friends anymore. I'm worried about the day that it'll stop making me sad. Isn't that a good thing? Well, we haven't talked like this in a while. I'm glad you're having fun in college. You too, except, you know, the great aspect. Definitely an aspect. You're smart. You cannot flunk out of college. I'm not gonna flunk out. I'm just having a little bit of fun, making memories. How much do you actually remember? I know what I'm doing. Okay, I trust you. So tell me about the Sophia. Are you two? Oh, no, nothing there. Oh, I just figured after that phone call. <laughs> well, we tried a few times, actually. Still stuck on a certain someone? I need some air. I'll go with you. No, you don't have to. I want to. Well. Well, that was tense. <laughs> Definitely tense. I was hoping this trip would remind me of the past in a comforting way. Well, it's not over yet. We're not even halfway there. I feel like this is all my fault. Like, I push too hard for something that just isn't there. Do you maybe want to see some of the pictures I've taken of us so far? I don't know if now's a good time. Now's the perfect time. Wow, Cal, these are great. You've got Chris doing the goddess pose. <laughs> Is this me? I didn't even notice you took this. Yeah, I just really like the colors. Cal, um... Olivia, there's something... I know. You know? And you don't? So, you do have a spare tire, it's just hidden under your car. The more you know. You almost done? Almost there. Lola, why did 
let you come on this trip. Glad you're here, love. I thought it would be different this time. Well, it can still be better next time. Right, Lynn? Got it. Making a glitter roll difference metaphorically. Oh,